Hey, I uh, found a snake skin out here by my shop today, and uh, it looks like a king snake. I don't believe it's the same one that I caught the other day, but uh, I was going to show y'all something on it. If you've ever find a, a, just a skin, this is a pretty good size one, uh, if you'll notice the, uh, the head part of it, you know, it's, it's not... It's about the same size as the uh, the body, uh, so just right there, you know, it's not a perfect way of showing. Uh, it's not a uh, a venomous snake, but uh, you know, a venomous snake would probably be a a bigger head, I'm sure, uh, or most of them. Anyway, the other, but the the main one I think I want to show you is the uh, the sure way of knowing if you you know if you see one of these, and you're like, oh well, I got a, a venomous snake on my property. Just uh, look back here where the tail part of it is. Uh, you'll see back here from from the anal. They call it the anal vent. That's where they poop. Uh, on a non-venomous snake, it's double road. You'll see that. The see how it's see up here. It's single, but then past the anal vent, it, it becomes uh, double road. On a venomous snake, it'll be like this all the way down anyway that's how you can tell on a uh, from a from a snake skin if you've got a venomous or non boy non venomous snake on your property or maybe around your house uh, if you got one look like this this look like it was probably from a I believe they call it a speckled king snake or a salt and pepper king snake stuff like that but uh, uh, you know it's best to have it around your property. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Talk to you later. Bye.